Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and this video will be talking about how we can calculate a factorial of a given number in SQL. Okay, so first of all, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders. Here I upload videos on SQL, Python, PySpark, Data Engineering stuff and other things. So if you are someone who are practicing on SQL interviews, then you can watch out my this series. And here I uploaded till 28 questions. As you can see that, you know, we have this list, complete playlist. And if you are someone who is preparing for job interviews or the, basically on the SQL side, then you can watch this whole playlist. Okay, now we'll see. First, we will understand what is s what is factorial, and then we will try to solve this problem using SQL. So, what is factorial is like you know if I give you five, okay, so the factorial will be like five into four into three into two into one. So it means it is one twenty. Likewise, if I give you a three number, then it will start from three and will keep on decreasing keep on decreasing till 1 and uh, the multiplication of this so it will be like 6 right in if I, if I give you some uh, some huge number let's say 10 uh, 10 so it will go like 10 9 8 7 and and and, and, and till 1 okay and the result will be what whatever the result is cool so this is means the factorial and I think you might have solve this question using C language or using pandas or sorry using python or java or any other programming language but in this video we'll be solving the same question using a sql so uh, what we will do we'll see let me open this id and here i will use recursive cte method so i'll just write here with and cte name let's say i'm writing this fact as a cte name and then as and i will open the basis Cool. What I'll do here, I have to first define the base condition, not a base condition. I can I can define the numbers. So let's say I'm I have to find out I have to find out uh, values. I mean I have to find out the factorial of number five. So I'll just write here five. Okay, this will be my n, and then I'll just keep this keep this as n. Okay, and then uh, I will keep one as f f is kind of a string not a string the uh, the the initial value of f is one and then we will try to keep on multiplying keep on multiplying this the value of f the value of f with this other thing right now what we will rot now what we have to do uh, using this uh, you know uh, using this uh, ct method using this ct method we have to we have to write here union all so i'll just write here union all and then here we will write the other thing so the other thing will be we have to keep decreasing the number right so i'll just write here n minus 1 and then here i will write this f into n so multiplication of this f 1 into the number cool and then what i'll do i'll just write here from cte not ct sorry the ct name is fact and till till the value of n will be uh, is greater than one cool and i simply write here select star from uh, fact and try to run this we'll see now you can see this is the value of this n five four three two one and you can see we have this one five twenty sixty and one twenty now you can see we have 120 okay now if you want to now you might be thinking that i said you to find out the factorial but it gave me that uh, this result right so here you can you can write like this max of what f so max of f will be your factorial cool now see what is happening first i given here 5 and uh, the value of f is 1 and it going here 5 minus uh, 1 is 4 but here it is multiplying like you know 1 into n 1 into n means 5 only and it is checking this condition the condition is true as of now right the, sorry the condition is false as of now correct so it goes here it goes here again and then it is doing uh, like now now the uh, the value of n will be 4 minus 1 right but since we already have the value 
uh, of this is 5 now the value of uh, you know the value of f will be 5 and now it is multiplying with n currently the value of n is 4 right so it is keep on doing until this condition become satisfied cool so this is a short video like i hope you have understood the idea of this and i also created a video where i i to i shown you how you can find out uh, a prime number i guess or you can print the numbers from 1 to 50 using this uh, using this recursive ct method and like please do not forget to you know uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and watch this playlist if you are liking these videos and hope you have a good day thank you bye bye